video lecture I am going to fix that to could not create the Java virtual machine. So here let's open the command prompt and if I trying to uh, start the Cassandra. So Cassandra database that I am going to start. So here I am getting the masses could not create the Java virtual machine and here a fatal exception has occurred program will exit. PowerShell script execution unavailable. So PowerShell, PowerShell script already in my system but to here could not create the Java virtual machine. So let's see how to fix that. So first here I am going to show you program files. So there are two JDKs there 1.8 and 16.0.1. So two JDK is there. So when I click here, edit environment variable. So let's go on the path. And here add it. So here uh, two path that I cited. So you can see ZDK 1.8 and ZDK 16.0. So we need to remove this one. Okay. So I highly recommend you. So you should use ZDK 1.8. So this that I'm going to remove. Okay. So let's delete this. Now click on OK. Now here after let's uh, open command prompt. Writing again Cassandra. So again the same kind of error message could not create the Java virtual machine. So add here. Let's open edit environment variable. So here Java home system variable. So this place uh, I set it to ZDK 16.0.1. So we need to replace with uh, ZDK 1.8. Okay. So I did the same same mistakes. So let's uh, here see program files Java and uh, JDK. So you need to copy this one and uh, edit environment variable java home create the java home and uh, here you need to paste this after that click on ok now let's uh, open command prompt once again writing here cassandra so this time there is no any error cassandra is working perfectly here there is no any issue so I think uh, you should use the uh, ZDK 1.8 uh, version and uh, create the Java home and uh, write the path for ZDK 1.8. Okay, so Cassandra is work it's working fine. There is no problem. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.